Hi, everybody, and welcome back. Um, so we have a chance to sit down now with uh, Mark Harris. He's the community manager at Tabletopia. Tabletopia is one of the uh, one of the the kind of the the foundations that we have here at the the at the virtual expo because it's a way for us all to play games virtually with one another. Mm -hmm. Mark, welcome to the expo. Um, Thank you. It's Thank lovely you. to have you, mate. Um, uh, so, Mark, um, uh, can you give us a, a rundown on what Tabletopia is? Yeah, absolutely. So Tabletopia is a digital sandbox that lets you play all your favorite board games um, uh, online. And uh, we give you the components and you go and do the magic. So there's no automation involved. Um, you're the one picking up the cubes and putting them in place. You're shuffling the cards around. Uh, you're making sure everyone gets their components where they need to be, mm -hmm. and you're making sure the rules are played how they're meant to be. So you can play it right or wrong, uh, however you'd like. Mm -hmm. But uh, what I think is really cool about that experience is because you have that experience of moving the things where they need to be rather than an app automating it, it really gives you that feeling of sitting across the table from someone. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, so um, we can. Um, I'm browsing the website at the moment, uh, Mark. Sure. So we could we could kind of give people a little bit of a tour of this. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Uh, you can you can you can um, you can see it at tabletopia.com. That's yes. all you need to do to access it. Yeah, okay. th this has some of my favorite games on there, like Subterra I mentioned in the last segment. Mm -hmm. But there is such a wealth of games that are already built in here. Uh, so well over a thousand games. Um, mm -hmm. Well, I'm on the home page, Mark. Yep. Where would you like me to click? Well, um, do you have an account? Have you signed up before? No, so let's do that, will we? Absolutely. So, yeah, if you go uh, to the top right, you'll see the little sign up button and uh -huh. that'll uh, kick you into into um, making it. You just need a password and yeah. a and an email account. Yep. No, one um, of the nice you can also is... Sorry. Yeah. So I'm just um Oh, I've pressed the wrong button here. <laughs> okay, right. So let me put in a, a password. Yeah. Um there we go. Um, and click sign up. Perfect. And I'm in, uh, and I'm in. Okay. You're in. That's it. And so now you've created an account. Um, it will give you the option actually to have a 30 day trial of our gold um, membership access. So mm -hmm. we're we're a subscription based um, website, but 85 percent of our catalog is actually free yeah. uh, to access. So all you need is that bronze account. Yeah. So uh, the, the primary difference between the three accounts is essentially. Um, the ability to play our premium games. Um, mm -hmm. And premium games are just higher quality caliber games and games that publishers have chosen to list as premium. And that's because publishers actually get a profit share with those. So all games on Tabletopia are completely official and sanctioned by the publishers. Yeah. And so when you play those games as a premium member, you're actually directly supporting those publishers. Oh, and great, the other cool. thing is, so with Silver, you can play those uh, premium games. With gold, you can actually play those premium games and share the game as long as you're one of the participants with non-premium members. So uh -huh. if you have a gaming group, only one of you needs that gold membership. And if, so if I want to play um, uh, board games and stuff uh, with my family or whatever, know that we're yeah. all kind of isolating and, and dispersed, as long as I'm a gold member, um, yep. I, I, can, uh, I can fire it up and uh, they can get in and play the premium games with me. Hundred percent. Yeah. Awesome. Definitely. Well, then I'm going to as long this. as you're one of the participants. Okay, so so right now, start the probably player's free trial. Probably don't want. Oh, sorry. Do I click the start player's free trial? Yeah. Um. I would. Oh, um, maybe. To maybe do a bronze account for now because I think okay. it's going to ask for your credit card. Yeah. You probably don't want to um splash that everywhere. Yeah, let, let, let's not put that out there on the interwebs. <laughs> <laughs> I could put so it on just... there, guys, but you wouldn't get much out of it. Let me. <laughs> let me. Let me be honest. So. <laughs> okay. So now you've created a free bronze account. Mm. Yes. Um, and if, by the way, if you are an existing um, member of Tabletopia, mm -hmm. um, if you're an existing member of Tabletopia for UK Games Expo, we have given uh, people a seven day uh, voucher yep. that will allow you to have gold uh, for the weekend and for yes. the week. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool. And can everybody find you in the exhibitors hall? You have a virtual stand where people can get. We in do touch? have a virtual stand. Yes, mm. absolutely. Happy days. Right. So I'm in. And uh, the, what I see now is this message that says, welcome to Tabletopia, take a tour. But yes. we're going to give you a tour instead. <laughs> I think I'll give you the tour. I'll give yeah. you the, the deluxe premium tour. Wow. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, jump us back to the homepage and okay. let's go from there. Yeah, so I'm on the homepage and I'm signed in. Right. 
fantastic. So you'll see here, uh, there's a couple of ways you can find games. We've got a lot of uh, games. Uh, if you scroll down, you'll see, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we've got uh, a couple of recommended games in different categories, uh, you know, Kickstarter games, um, yeah. mm -hmm. new releases. What we find actually is really cool about Tabletopia is that a lot of creators will put their games on here um, during or before their Kickstarters, and nice. you actually get to play these games ahead of time, which is really awesome. There's a couple of live Kickstarters on there right now, like Arkwright, the card game, really exciting game, mm -hmm. um, and Lizard Wizard, of course, um, the guys who made Raccoon Tycoon. Uh, yeah. So, you know, we have a lot of cool stuff on there. Um, what's a game that you'd want to play? Uh, actually, if you scroll back up to the top, mm -hmm. if you go to the um, top right, uh, you'll see the little search bar. Yep. I think it'd be really nice if we could play cartographers. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'll put in uh, cartographers. Yeah, absolutely. And I will click through to that. Okay. Yeah, I'm there. Beautiful. Uh, so this is the game page. Uh, all of these games have their own little pages. Um, you see you've got all the info, like, uh, you know, description of the game, the BGG ratings, got some links on the side. Um, publishers might have their sales pages. Uh, they'll always have the sort of availability of um, where you can find them. Yeah. Uh, and mm -hmm. you'll see that we've got these things called setups. So those are just the um, predefined ways that the games are laid out. Mm -hmm. So there's a setup for one player, the solo version. There's a setup for a two player version of the game, which yeah. just gives everyone a game board. Mm -hmm. So that's just the way to jump into that game with that predefined um, set. Now you're seeing the uh, top right, we have three modes of play. We have yeah. solo, mm -hmm. we have um, hot seat, and we have online. Mm -hmm. And so solo is obviously just to play a game by yourself. Um, hot seat is to share a keyboard and mouse with someone mm -hmm. in the same physical location, which I don't think a lot of us might be doing right now. Yeah. So yeah. we're actually going to click that uh, play online button, which will um, allow us to create a game. OK, so that's creating a new room. Mm -hmm. And yes. I wait for invite or invite players to start the game. Yeah, so um, the really cool thing about Tabletopia, uh, so, so first off, you'll see just above your little name, the, that's the current setup we've got is a solo setup. You can actually click that, just change that to a two or three player setup or something mm -hmm, else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so right. if you click that and change it to a higher player count setup, yeah. uh, you can now add seats to the table, which will allow you to add um, seats that people can grab um, yeah. once they've been invited into this lobby, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, and, I, I see a uh, button for take seat. Does that mean that we could hot seat this as well as have people online with us? No. So uh, take seat just means you want to take the red player's color. Ah, I see. <laughs> yes. uh -huh. Yep. If you have a preference. So um, uh, now the really cool thing about Tabletopia is all you need to do to share this game is actually just um, share the web link. Mm -hmm. Like, just literally share the URL of where you are right now, and right. someone else will be able to find that game. Well, I, um, yeah, I'll yeah. tell you what, if, That's if, it. if anybody in the chat... I think yes. someone's um, jumped in with you. Yeah, if anybody is in the chat... Oh, somebody's jumped in. Well, somebody oh, has jumped, jumped in, <laughs> and then they've, they've jumped out again. <laughs> um, if anybody is in the chat and wants to join me, mm -hmm. um, if, uh, let me see if I can get the, the link... Um, so it's uh, tabletopia.com forward slash playground forward slash players. Oh, no. I'm going to give you a very quick heads up that yeah. I think if a lot of people join en masse, it's not going to be happy. All right, okay. I think we, I think we can have about 10 people in a room before uh -huh. it starts to overload. And I know you'll have a lot of people wanting to join in with you. Okay. All right. Um, so the, the way you could do this, Warren, is if you grab the web link, uh -huh. go to main stage on our UK Games Expo okay. section. Yeah. Don't put in the web link. But the first person to jump in there and say, I want to play with Warren, uh -huh. you DM yeah. them okay. and give them the link and they get to jump in right. with you. Right, so I'm on the main stage, guys. So if I cut to three, mm -hmm. I'm on the main stage there. Um, uh, who wants to play me? Who has a uh, an account already with Tabletopia and wants to play me? And I will PM you uh, the link so that you can, uh, you can join me. So... Um, all you have to do is just let me know in the main stage over in the Discord of Virtually Expo. Now, and, uh, we may want to uh, start a new game because I think some people have seen the second way that people can actually join um, a game. <laughs> right. So <laughs> if you go back to the page and just show everyone, you'll see down the bottom right, mm -hmm. there's a little six-digit code that uh -huh. you can actually input. Ah. Clever yes. buddies. Right. 
So okay. if you take that six digit code, the way you actually share that to people is uh -huh. you um, can actually paste that into the search bar anywhere on the website and that'll bring you into this room. Ah, right. Clever. So this code here. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I see we've got some spectators joining in. Okay. You do. And yeah. I think the website will. Right. Well, so Meriden we'll see. Star is in. Okay. Um, All right. I'm, so I'm going to hit start. Yeah. Do it. Let's do this. Okay. Yep. So start now. Game is in progress. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's loading. This is yep. exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Have you done this before? I didn't think I was going to get to play any games during this weekend. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> our, our usual expo is so busy, we don't get time to play yeah, games Mark, unless it's on live stream. Uh, Mark, I'm, I'm oh, somewhat no. tempted to cancel everybody else's <laughs> interview this weekend and just keep bringing you in and see how many games we can get to play with folks. Oh yeah, <laughs> totally. Yeah. Now, uh, Mark, a question has yep. came in on Twitch. It's a very important question. Mm -hmm, How do mm -hmm. you get the seven-day Tabletopia Gold at Expo yeah, this the, year? The seven-day Tabletopia Gold. I believe the um, people at Table at uh, UK Games Expo have shared it uh, in your accounts. Let me just see. Yeah, if you if you go to your account, log into your account, and you collect your code and head to Tabletopia. Um, so I believe it should be somewhere in your account login. I know yep. people are having a little trouble logging in right now. But, yeah, um, yeah, the web the website is crying. Uh, just a little yep. shout out to Mini Jester One for that question. Very good shout. Yep. Awesome, awesome, absolutely. Um, uh, uh, messing up rules says uh, we guys are a blast to hang out with. <laughs> ah, that's that's because we're mildly insane. We're delightfully demented, is the way we're described. <laughs> so, um, uh, cartographers is downloading. So, if you cut mm -hmm. to this screen yep. here, yep. Um, mm -hmm. it was just it was pulling down all the assets and stuff mm -hmm. that, that that we need. We're playing yep. Wastelands side B. Mm -hmm. Ooh, um, side B. You like to start things off a little more tricky for yourself. I, 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 <laughs> He, Absolutely. He clicked a button. <laughs> <laughs> I, look, if there's ever a way for me to randomly make things harder for myself, I will. <laughs> so, Good. Okay, so welcome to the Tabletopia tutorial. We're grateful for any feedback you may have. Click next. Now, um, maybe you want to skip it because you have your own personal tutorial today. There we go. Of course. Uh, so just uh, actually that little box in the, yeah, click it away. Okay, yeah. it's gone. Mm -hmm. Good. But you do have um, tutorials for all your games? Sorry? You have tutorials for your games? No, no, this, this uh, is a tutorial of how to use the ah, system. Ah, I understand. That's right. So uh, you actually need to know um, how to use the game itself. Yeah. So let me um, walk you through what you're kind of looking at here. Now, it, it's slightly cut off on the stream, mm -hmm. but um, what people um, will see in the bottom left are three little icons. Yeah. We've got the um, got a little... Uh, Got a little volume slider that'll just adjust the volume for in-game sound effects and stuff. Okay. You've yeah. also got um, the little question mark button. That'll actually show you a very, uh, you can actually click that. That'll show you a cheat sheet of all the controls on Tabletopia. And now don't be, don't be scared. It's a bit overwhelming yeah. the first time you see it. Um, but this tells you literally everything you can do. But today I'm just going to run you through the basics and just sort of walk you through um, how to how to play a basic game. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So you've got that, uh, and you can click click out of that. Uh, yep. And you also see there's a little paper symbol. Yes. Now that paper symbol is actually the PDF of the rules for this game that you're in. So oh, if you wow. click that, you'll um, see the PDF for Cartographers pop up. Oh, happy days. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So you can quickly refer to it if you ever need. Uh, the rules are right there um, in your chosen language. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. So. Now you're in the game space. So the first thing you want to think about is moving around. You can just mm -hmm. click and drag anywhere, um, and that'll um, allow you to move the camera. Oh, wow. And then you can use your mouse wheel to zoom in and out. That's right. Mm -hmm. And you use, uh, I saw you use the right mouse button as yeah. well to change the uh, camera angle. Mm -hmm. Yep. And so um, if you're familiar with uh, video games, uh, it's kinda, it kind of works like an FPS, really, yes. a first-person shooter. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're not, don't stress. It's, it's sort of, it becomes fairly intuitive. Yeah. Uh, so if you click anywhere that actually contains an object, for example, one of the uh, Seasons cards, mm -hmm. uh, you can click and drag that card and manipulate it, move it around. Ah, I'm, I'm just, um, I, well, I had grabbed it. Uh, let me grab it again. Yeah, so I've grabbed yep. it. Uh, can I drop? I'll just drop it into the play area and see what happens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There it is. 
-hmm. And so um, that's it. Now, that's the real basics of how you m maneuver something around in Tabletopia. Um, specific to cartographers, or not specific, but one thing they've done in this game, they've actually got um, a bunch of those uh, bags. So in order to adapt this uh, roll and write to a uh, space where you can't write, uh, yeah. they've actually got the um, icons that you would write. So the, there's a bunch of river tiles in, one, in the blue bag. There's a bunch of forest tiles in the green bag. Oh, you can actually mm -hmm. just click and drag from the bag itself, yeah. and you'll uh, bring those into the space. So I could just, uh, just grab a tile and mm -hmm. just drop it onto the... Mm -hmm. onto That's the, right, the and they'll just snap to where they need mm -hmm. to go. Um, and the, the other thing is if you hover over one of the bags and you use your mouse wheel and scroll up, you can actually yep. take multiple things at once. You'll see the little <gasps> yeah, take, take five. X. Yeah. Ah, so take two, yeah. take three, take four, take five, and then just drop them all, drop them all on. Mm -hmm. I'll just plunk on down. Yeah. Um, you also see on the side of the sheet, uh, we've got uh, the where the scoring would go yep. uh, for the game. Uh, so uh, what we've done there is we've actually turned those into little counters that you tick up and down. So you can just use your mouse wheel to scroll those up and down. And that'll um, that'll be how you input your uh, score for each season. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So you just get to um, scroll them up yeah. and down. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's right. And the other thing I want to talk about is decks. So you'll actually, uh, if you try and grab an explore card, um, uh, those are the mm -hmm. primary cards that you'll be using during the game. Yeah. So you can grab one off the deck um, and bring it out. Uh, but it's not the right way up. So if you actually want to flip it, um, press the F key on your on your keyboard. Uh huh. There we are. Yeah. And that is our first little explore action for the game. Mm -hmm. Um. And and mm. but let's say you'd actually drawn out a card you didn't want, and you need to put it back on that deck. Yeah. Uh, that's no problem. If you grab the card itself, uh -huh. hover over the explored deck, and wait until it glows orange, and then release. That'll oh. shove it back into the deck. Nice. Mm. Yeah. This is yeah. such an elegant system, Mark. I really, it's really fun. impressed with this. And it it's really, fun. really smooth for being straight through a web browser. Yeah. Because you don't oh, have yeah, to download absolutely. any additional programs or anything like that. Yeah, there's no plugins to download. There's no apps to download. This is it's directly in a web browser. Just there and working. Um, That's it. And, and so um, one, one thing I will say with the controls, um, these are a lot of the basics. But if you're ever stuck and you're like, what can I do with an object? And I don't want to look at that scary chart of um, all those icons of things I can do. You can actually right click on something and it'll bring up a little wheel which shows you all the options of ways that object can be manipulated. Oh, give it a go, Warren. Yeah. So yeah. <clears throat> what do you want me to click? Uh, let's right click on the Explore Card deck, actually. Okay. Uh-huh. And you'll now see you've got a little wheel here that pops up with all the different options. So uh, down the bottom, you'll actually see shuffle, and that's how you'll shuffle the cards. Ooh, and it bounces. <laughs> yeah, and then it you does. Could deal, you could deal a number of cards. Oh, you can. Wow. So that actually issues a card, a certain number of cards to everyone. Yeah. And now you've unveiled the hand feature, which I'm actually going to talk briefly about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so those cards, those four cards at the bottom of your screen, are actually in a personal hand, not visible to other players. So it's not necessary in cartographers, but in a lot of games where you have private information, like let's say you're playing Texas Hold'em or you're playing Scythe and yeah. you need to keep your combat cards um, close to you, mm -hmm. you've actually got these cards that are personal and visible only to you until you put them back out on the table. Yeah. So um, the way you'll get those into your hand um, originally, uh, not doing the deal function, is if you gra grab another card, so grab that explore card that we mm -hmm. already um, yeah. picked up, uh, and 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 just drag it to the bottom of your screen until it glows. Uh, um, I see, yes. You see a little blue glow there, yeah. and you can release, and now it's in your hand. And so that's now not visible to any other players. And then I can um, select one from my hand and then just drop right. it into the play area. That's right. This is and so slick. Mm -hmm. Now, um, a lot of the cards might be might contain a lot of information that's hard to read, um, and you know you don't want to zoom in every time you you want to view a card. That's okay. With any card, uh, you can double click it, or you can press the space bar, and mm -hmm. that'll actually bring it up full screen uh, and let you read it. Um, so there you are. There we go. Goblin attack. It's a awesome. bit of a mean one. Yeah. 
cool. Yeah, get um, right in it's a really simple way to see the information. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, there's a couple of other things, but um, I think that covers everything that would let you play photographers, to be honest. Yeah. Um, you in, in games with dice, you can press the R key to roll them. Uh, and again, remember, if you're ever stuck and not sure how to manipulate things, you can just right click on an object and it'll bring you all the options for mm -hmm. what you can do with that object. Yeah. And is there a little chat window here as well? There is. In the bottom right, there's a little chat uh -huh. window. So everyone else in the um, game will be able to see you. So I can just say, but, hi, um, everybody. We... <laughs> oh, have I, uh, you, keep, you keep hitting numbers. I keep hitting numbers. There are well. reasons oh, no. I made hotkeys <laughs> not for that. <laughs> That's my little mood board. We yeah. don't need that. <laughs> there we go. Great to see you here. Yep. So. Ah, perfect. Awesome. Yes. Um, so uh, you've got the chat. We that that's totally um, a nice way to communicate. We definitely recommend um, for a lot of the longer sessions or maybe games where you're playing with friends and people you actually know. Definitely couple it with something like Discord or Zoom or Skype. Yeah. Um, it really just sort of adds that face to face connection mm -hmm. and 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 just really bring makes it a bit more intimate and personal, uh, which I think is the beauty of the platform. Yeah. Now, I, I am seeing one or two folks in our chat saying that you can also play Tabletopia on Steam if that is your platform yes. of choice. That's and right. And I, the reason you would do that is the graphics are a little higher quality there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I also noticed on the login screen, so you don't have to just create a direct account. You can also log in with your Facebook. And there was one other. Uh, what was Twitter. it? Twitter. Twitter. There you go. Yep. So you That's can, right. You can tweet your way um, uh, your way into it. <laughs> so Meridian Star is uh, saying hi to me. You know, <laughs> hey Meridian Star. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Right. We're also I'm having so call, calls from the chat for you to throw dice at Warren's head. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, this this is awesome, right? Mm. But I, yeah. I I have a question then. But the, the UK yeah. the UK Games Expo. Obviously, we have loads of people that love games. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but we also have loads of people that love to create games. Um, Absolutely. How do people um, get their games uh, into this? Uh, yeah, like a hundred percent. Yeah. Is it is it is it free? Can they do it, or, or do they yeah. have to pay, or how? What are their options? Of course. So we have a um, workshop tool. Um, so actually, if you bump us back to the home page, um, I'll just show you how that workshop tool mm -hmm. works. And it's basically a no coding, no programming um, system that allows you to either upload your own custom objects or use our predefined objects and actually uh, put them into a space where you can play games. So if you want to click that little workshop option, yeah, um, that'll allow you to um see our workshop and you can create a new game right now um now it might be a little it might be a little um slow on stream yeah. to actually show off how we would how we do this process but you'll see here you've got all the game details you can input upload your box art make it all pretty um and once you're in we've got a bunch of pre-made objects that you brought up yeah, so these are objects those. already in the system where like if you need some cubes we've already got them if you need some dice you don't have to make your own yeah. Uh, and you can just bring them into our platform and actually uh, throw them into a setup uh, mm -hmm. and, and create them yourself. Uh, we can also make our own objects. So we have a card editor, a board editor, um, very versatile. All you have to do really is upload the artwork and of the card front and card back, and it'll just um, plop itself into there. It's a very versatile system, and you'll see down the bottom we've got the um, useful information. That'll take you to our knowledge base, which is incredibly comprehensive, mm -hmm. and it runs you through every step. We have a game designer checklist on there. So this, this is actually a really good place for prototyping as well. Yeah, um, I was just about to ask and, that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely, um, especially because um, we already have the components made, and there's no you know running to your printing store and making sure the USB files work at the store and then like printing it out and cutting everything and watching Bachelor while you miserably like assemble these pieces together. No, no, no print and play here. You just actually put the pieces into, into um, Tabletopia and you've got a, you've got a game that's uh, ready to go. So you, you can see it, why this would be popular mm -hmm. um, with Kickstarter games. This oh, is yeah. an opportunity for them to engage their entire audience mm -hmm. and say, look, 
this is what we have in mind. Mm -hmm. You know, because mm -hmm. most of them have these art, art assets and stuff already made. Yeah. And I, so this is a way for them to allow people to play mm -hmm. that game in a really slick environment. Yeah, I have a question though. If you're creating a game, do you yeah. have the option to do like a closed beta? Say you have like a, a circle of close friends, you're creating a new game, and you want to actually link maybe people who are in different countries together to begin pr prototyping and playtesting. Is that a function you have on there? Absolutely. So uh, we have a, a thing called Play Zones. Basically, um, so first off, uh, just for context, when you make a game on Tabletopia, it doesn't automatically go into our catalog. Mm. Uh, all the games that are on the platform publicly, um, you have to contact us about and we'll vet uh, because we want to make sure that you're the rights holder for the game mm -hmm. and also that it works and is pretty and has is a good user experience for mm -hmm. people who actually get end up playing it. Yeah. Um, so uh, it won't be automatically publicly listed. Mm -hmm. When you create a game, uh, you have the option to create a thing called play zones, which are a set, which are a one, uh, not one use, but a private link mm -hmm. that uh, you can send to people. They'll be able to create a game in there and they'll be able to uh, give you feedback or maybe just enjoy this uh, fun, weird game you've created. Yeah, awesome. Very, very awesome. I like it, that a lot. It's an incredible um, uh, platform, you, you know, for um, both developers and players alike. You mm -hmm. know, it's um, what, what what I like about it, Mark, is um, I wouldn't say I'm a technophobe, mm -hmm. okay, um, uh, but uh, but I have embraced traditional uh, uh, aspects of gaming. I, I was a I'm a retired video gamer, so <laughs> yeah, uh, sure. so I. I <laughs> I, I was all I, I love the tactileness uh, of it, and I found uh, obviously COVID changed everything for me, mm -hmm. and because you know uh, I'm I'm unable to meet up with the folk that uh, mm -hmm. that I would play games with, so this then became um, uh, something th that I've had to adopt uh, th mm -hmm. this this approach to being able to play games virtually with yeah. folk. Well, here's and the question. I have found some of them to be very cumbersome, mm -hmm. but this is very mm -hmm. slick, and yeah. I like the fact that. It doesn't have the automation and stuff there. The, the system mm. gets out of my way yeah, and but, just lets me do what I want to do. But your control functions in this aren't so heavy that it feels like a slog to actually do what you're trying to do. Yes. You know, yeah. I found sometimes in, in some things like this, it's a real slog to actually pick up all your tokens, pick mm. up multiple tokens, you know, mark mm. wounds on this, shuffle that deck. Yeah, this, this, this is seems, really well engineered. It feels lightweight. Mm. You know, it it doesn't yeah. feel it doesn't feel cumbersome at all to use, and mm -hmm. that and that that's a biggie for me because um, it, it, it it's one of those barriers to entry, Mark, that it, mm -hmm. it, that I, that I've struggled with yeah. since COVID Absolutely. kicked off. So, absolutely. Um, <clears throat> any last important things, Mark, that uh, that people uh, need to know about this, mate? Mm -hmm. Um. I, uh, the one thing we didn't cover is on the homepage, you'll see a little uh, button that says find and play. Yep. So let's say you don't have a game group. Uh, mm -hmm. That's no worries. You can actually find um, strangers or friendly folks uh, during UK Games Expo to actually play with. Mm -hmm. uh, no no rooms in there right now. But um, when you when you create a game, um, you, you'll have seen on that game page, we had some options. One of them was visible to other players. That'll pop it into this play now. Uh, page that we've got up yep. and that'll allow other people to join your game mm -hmm. uh, and there's also the little play later section which is for scheduling games in the future right. um, so say maybe someone wants to play kind of on an ad hoc basis and say um, I, you can see a lot of uh, ninja squad scheduled um, <laughs> these these look like events actually yeah um, yeah and so the these are games that are going to happen in the future uh, that you can sign up for mm -hmm. uh, so that's a really nice way progress. to find Sorry. And then we have games in progress as well. Mm. Yes, um, you can you can view them as well. You can sort of hop in and spectate if you um want to see the action. Mm -hmm. Oh, so we can actually we can so if I, I could go into Super Fantasy Brawl here. Nice. Yeah. Um, it started ten minutes ago. Yeah. Let me click watch. Mm -hmm. Um it's loading and preparing. So you're a spectator right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that'll load up and you'll actually just see what's happening. Mm -hmm. They'll probably wonder why they're being invaded on the <laughs> main page of uh, UK Games Expo, but that's not why. Yeah, I wonder that about Warren about twice a day. Okay, so <laughs> let's uh, let's see. It's there just about. Mm -hmm. um, 
And let's see if we can... Now, uh, the first time you load slow. a game every time on Tabletopia, it will be a touch slow um, yeah. because it's just got to download those assets and process them. Mm -hmm. But once um, it's loaded the first time, you'll actually uh, be able to uh, get in a lot quicker. Yeah, oh, and one thing, one, one thing that um, might concern a lot of people is um, saving your game, right? Yeah. Um, if, you, if you accidentally close your browser or you're two hours into a three-hour on Mars and you need to you know, answer the real world, uh, that's no problem. You can actually just close your browser. And when you go back to Tabletopia's main website, you'll actually see a list of your currently open games. Yeah, ah, very cool. So if you caught this, I'm, I'm here. I am, and um, I, I've seen the players doing a little bit there with uh, getting their tokens and stuff uh, in place. Yeah. Um, so this is the Super Fantasy Brawl by uh, Mythic Games. Board is beautifully executed. I can see the standees and and stuff there, and mm -hmm. their their control boards. Wow. And uh, so we could just basically uh, if. If you wanted to, you could just plug in and yeah. sit back with a drink and just and just watch two people battle it out. Yep, hundred percent. If you were someone that was wanting to teach maybe a group of people a game, yeah, you can jump in there with someone that already knows it. Mm -hmm. They can sit and spec to you, and if you're on like your Discord or your Skype, and you, you can, can start explaining what you're doing and give them yeah. a good game demo through that. I, I think that's actually the solution a lot of publishers are going to be using this weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, we've seen it with some previous expos where publishers will create a, a private game and uh, they'll m move the components around, jump in as an extra player, and then once they've taught the rules, they'll let people jump out. So you might actually see that pop up a few times if mm -hmm. you're doing some events this weekend. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, Expo does have an absolute metric ton of events running this weekend. 900 yes. events. Yeah. Um, 900. It was 900, like 800 last time I checked. Yeah. <laughs> 900 events are mm -hmm. going to be running uh, over the course of uh, this weekend. Mm -hmm. um, wow. Mark, thank you very much, mate. Uh, uh, it's been an absolute pleasure to spend some time with you on this. Um, uh, the system is great. Guys, um, definitely go and get stuck into uh, Tabletopia. Um, a, a few things for you to uh, remember. Um, there is a seven-day gold premium trial mm -hmm. um, uh, that you can get um, during Virtually Expo. Yeah, I believe I saw in chat that the code for that is at the bottom of your profile on the Expo site. Yeah, so right. um, go and give that a uh, give that a go. Um, loads of the the companies are going to be directing you to Tabletopia over the course of this weekend, anyway, to mm -hmm. to get in and play their games. And heck. This whole weekend is about reaching out and you know playing playing with somebody you maybe haven't played in a long time with or playing with somebody new. Mm -hmm. This is a great way to connect. Get them onto the Discord, open up a voice channel with them, go in here, pick a game that you love, and just have a great time.